Hey guys and ladies, in this video, what I'm showing you here is another milestone that I hit with my RC Lamo project. And for this prototype that you're viewing now, I'm basically controlling everything here wirelessly. So you can see my transmitter in the upper left hand corner, which is sending signals to my receiver that's on board this unit. So I wanted to perform several tests. Here I'm performing a distance test to see if I'm able to operate it from a far distance. And I also wanted to see how easy it was to maneuver with the transmitter. So on board here you see some plywood with some wood and some batteries and the batteries are different sizes. But here again this is a prototype and I just needed to find two 12 volt batteries so I could hook them up in series and get a total of 24 volts to see how fast this unit would actually move. So the wood on top is actually just holding the batteries in place and the wood will also have another purpose which you'll see in another test here in a second. But as you can see my wheel gets stuck here. I believe it's just from the leg on the side but I'm really not sure there but there were some modifications that I saw that I may make in my final design from doing these tests. So overall it, it does maneuver well. It was fairly easy to get the hang of. It's easy to drive backwards and forwards. So here's just another test I wanted to perform, or a weight test, and for a moment I almost fell off of it here, as you can see, but I, I was able to get the hang of it. But in a way here, as, as you know, or if you don't know, these are wheelchair electric motors, so obviously they should be able to support my weight, but I also wanted to just see for curiosity how my frame would operate. Even though this RC lawnmower probably isn't going to have this much weight applied on it, I just was curious. <laughs> so I probably will be using a thicker aluminum in my final design, but again, I just wanted to perform this simple weight test. All right, so for my final test, I just wanted to see how user friendly this RC lawnmower project was. So I just gave my transmitter or my controller to my mom and let her operate it for a little while. And the first thing she did was run it into her flower garden, but she started to get the hang of it after a while. So that's very important since I'm gonna be showing other people how to build this is how easy is it to actually operate. And in certain situations as this, I didn't really want to give her any help. I wanted to see if she could figure out what to actually do without me even providing any support. So again here, this test went fairly well. Again, it's not really hard to operate. It probably takes you about a good five minutes and you probably understand how to operate this fairly well. So definitely remember to subscribe because I will be doing a how-to video once I finish building this RC lawnmower and I will see you next time.